So I'm looking at my phone and every morning I wake up and I look for opportunities, ways to make money. Where is the untapped potential? Where is the opportunity to go against the grain? And I think Salesforce is a really good opportunity and I'll explain why. Shares of Salesforce are falling sharply in overtime after reporting earnings moments ago, revenue coming in light. You can see Salesforce right now, though, is down 15 percent. Analysts slashing their price targets on Salesforce's stock here, many citing the possibility that the company could be falling behind in the AI race. And yet I'm looking at the numbers and something doesn't add up. Now, let's go over this together, right? So revenue over the past five years increased by 162 percent. Operating income increased by 1100 percent. Net income increased by 272%. Free cash flow increased by 238%. Cash by 226%. All that happened in the past five years. It's currently selling for six times sales and about 21 forward price to earnings. Now, I know the market hates these dinosaur non-AI companies like Salesforce, but look, beyond the fact that this is currently a company that's selling for half of what its competitors are. ServiceNow is selling at 40 forward PE and 14 times sales, when in fact Salesforce holds about 90% of the Fortune 500 companies as customers. Now I've worked with the CRM, with their product, and it is irreplaceable. It is a very sticky product. Once you get on it, it is very hard for a large company to disengage. It is virtually impossible. So look, $35 billion in revenue. That's what you get from this company every single year. Now, if you look under the hood, they already have $57 billion in remaining performance obligations, which means that even if they do diddly squat for the next 18 months, they're going to be on pace to get the same revenues again. $9.43 billion. That is what they have as debt. That's massive. But if you look at their cash position, they have $18 billion in cash. So I love this setup where a company has double cash than debt, where the gross profit is 76% and the free cash flow margin is 66%. I'm looking at the numbers right here in Stock MVP. And we've got $6.25 billion in cash from operations just in Q1. And a new dividend plan and potentially a new buyback. I mean, What's not to like? Now, what's going on here, in my opinion, is that the market is overreacting. And when the market is overreacting, for me, it screams opportunity to make money. It's very, very simple. Now, look, let's go over this together right now. So Salesforce has missed earnings. Oh, my God. Oh, yo, yo. Oh, my God. They've missed earnings. How much? Well, $9.13 billion in revenues and missing earnings by $20 million. Over $9.13 billion of revenue. Are we really going to do this? Now, their balance sheet, super strong. Cash flow is insane. Market position, absolutely quasi-monopolistic. This is a great long-term investing opportunity that just got cheaper for no reason other than a market overreaction. Now, they haven't even changed their full-year guidance. The full-year guidance is still at 37.7. Let's say 38 for the sake of this debate, right? Nobody seems to care. I think it's a good entry point for investors who are patient, long-term oriented, smart investors. Now, I know 2024 has become this, oh my God, growth over everything. If you don't have 30%, 40%, 50% growth, we don't care. And this company only has 11% growth. My guy, it's not just about growth. What happened to buying amazing businesses, amazing companies with great management? Mark Benioff is one of the best in the business, as simple as that. Now, sure, they have risks, risks from innovation, disruptions from AI, but who knows and God knows exactly how they're going to play into this. Just assuming they're done and selling them at half of what ServiceNow is selling for? ServiceNow is double than Salesforce? Now, to me, it is very simple. Look, look at this company as if you're buying the business. If right now you're Warren Buffett and somebody offers you this company at half price, literally at half price, what would you do? Would you say, well, it's just trading at 11% growth. It's not good enough for me. Or would you say, well, this company is generating $38 billion every single year. It is insanely profitable. It has great management. It holds 90% of the market. It is insanely sticky. The product is very hard to leave. Leaving CRM, leaving Salesforce is the equivalent of changing a big four auditor for a massive company. It is virtually impossible. And sure, they don't have all the bells and whistles of the AI revolution. And I get it. Obviously, you want to be in AI for sure. But 
having a company like this at this price, this is a mega opportunity, as simple as that. I'm here to find cheap opportunities for you to make money. That's the only goal I have with this channel. And even if sometimes I have to bring in unsexy old company like CRM, like Salesforce, because it is selling for dirt cheap and it is a great investment, I'm gonna do it, simple as that. I'm not here to talk only about Nvidia and Tesla and Palantir. Sure, this video is not gonna get a lot of views, I get it. But for the few who will watch this video and will use this to make money, they won't care if this is a Salesforce or Schmelforce or whatever the name of the company is. If you make money at the end of the day, you're a happy camper. I'm gonna repeat my mantra like I do every single time. This isn't about buying all in, loading up the boat, buying all you can, mortgaging your house. That's not how it works. Beyond the fact that you have to have a balanced portfolio and you never want to just go in into one stock, even with this particular stock, you want to always slowly dollar cost average. Build your position slowly over the next year, two, three, four years. Slow and steady does it. Simple as that. If you actually want to get better at this beyond just the stock tips, I invite you to join our academy patreon.com forward slash Tom Nash. We would love to have you there. 30 days money back guarantee. If you're not happy with the Academy for any reason, no questions asked. We have a weekly call where we talk about everything like this talk right here and way, way deeper than that. Join us, try it out. If you just want to join the community, you're more than welcome. Discord.gg slash Tom Nash. We have one of the best communities out there for finance, stocks, macro, everything. And also, of course, don't forget to check out Stock MVP, stock-mvp.com. I've built this platform for you. It's your platform, my guy. Use it. It's there at a fraction of the price of what the big guys are charging, and it has everything. A DCF model tool, an insider's tool. You could look at the financials, build your own customized MVP cards, and check out exactly if this company is shit or legit. And of course, if you're here at the end of the video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for sharing these few minutes with me. I'll see you in the next one.